Tangle Tangle Mess here once again bringing you another episode of Live Free Dine Hard, the special Halloween edition. Episode six of the Vintage Collection. Was that you, Kristoff? Chrissy, come here, baby. Come here. He likes to be next to me. Are you gonna be my guest? I figured it would be appropriate to dress up in a costume character. If you don't know who this is, this is Louise Belcher from Bob's Burger. I thought it would be appropriate to celebrate episode six of Halloween dressing up as Louise. We are gonna be doing a vintage Halloween cake. Yeah, I decided to be festive this time. We are making a banana spook cake. Are you ready? Let's get started with the first section. This cake is actually extremely complicated. And I thought, okay, the last episode is going to be a little bit easier for me. I can relax a little bit, but um, no, I can't. So this, hmm. <laughs> never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Kristoff, why are you scared? I'm sorry. I love you, baby. The first, hmm. The first thing you're gonna need is one pound of boxed white cake mix. When you go to the store, the boxed cake mixes are only 15 ounces. I bought two boxes of cakes. I bought two boxes of cakes. Two boxes of cake mix. And I know that that's more than 16 ounces, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough. And so the first thing that we need to do for this recipe is to prepare the cake according to the box. So that's what I did before I started. I baked the cake. And I tried to fill up the cake pans as much as possible without them overflowing. So this is what the cake looks like and I did not slice anything off. This is straight out of the pan, cooled in the refrigerator. So that is ready to go. Oh, that was loud. Sorry, Kristoff. I'm scaring my cat a lot. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> For this next part of the recipe, we're going to need <laughs> bananas. We're going to need four of them. <laughs> four bananas, one cup of sugar. We're going to need a fourth a cup of lemon juice again. We got the cake done, and now we're going to prep the next thing for the cake, and I just told you all the ingredients, so we need to mash four bananas into a saucepan. We're gonna peel the bananas like we did in the other recipe. Uh, uh. I'm going to break these in half so that they're easy to mash. The monster mash! Alright, bananas are peeled and put in the pot, and now we mash the bananas, and I wish I had a masher, but I don't. Just gonna do it with a good old-fashioned fork. Oh, look at my ears go. Oh, this is gross. Ah! These bananas are pretty smashed up, and as we are cooking them, I'm gonna mash them up a little bit more, so it's fine for now. We're gonna add the sugar and the lemon juice next. Adding sugar fall. Look at the sugar fall instead of a waterfall. It's a sugar fall. The lemon juice is to make sure that this mixture doesn't brown. Ugh, that's a lot of lemon juice. All right. <laughs> Now it says to cook, stirring constantly until the mixture comes to a, a full a boil. That actually kind of smells nice. Sugar and lemon, it kind of smells like lemon bars. We're gonna mix this up until it comes to a boil and it's gonna be more saucy and smooth because we're gonna be adding it to whipped cream once we chill this in the refrigerator for a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, mashing the bananas. Uh, uh, uh. Ew, there's a, there's a lot of brown chunks in here. Ha! Mashing bananas! Ha! Is there a hair? Oh, there's no hair in there. <laughs> I don't remember how old this recipe is, but we got a lot of steps to do. <laughs> it's looking good. Looking. Okay. So it's now done because it's bubbling. While we're waiting for this to cool down, we are going to prepare the next part of this recipe. So I'll be right back. Oh my god! Right there! Guys, I just found a freaking masher! Here is our chilled banana mixture. It is sliding around everywhere, so I gotta be careful. But now we have to take the whipped cream and fold it into the banana stuff. So here's the whipped cream. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in there. Mmm. 
This mixture just looks weird. Folding in, I gotta be very gentle. Ew, this looks nothing like the picture. Mmm. It's, <laughs> it's so chunky. Ew, it kind of smells bad. It looks nothing like the picture. I'm trying so hard to do this correctly. There's the mixture. You see how chunky that is? Oh, I better be careful. Okay, sorry I'm so close to the camera, but I'm gonna go put this in the freezer real quick so that it chills while we're prepping other stuff, okay? Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do is make the chocolate glaze that goes on it as well. Yes, I told you, there's a lot of steps in this recipe. I'm, I wasn't kidding. For the chocolate glaze, we're gonna need a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. One egg, one fourth cup of butter or margarine. We're gonna put this on a low heat this time. We are gonna take the chocolate chips and mix it with the butter, stirring constantly until it is smooth. Okay. I'm actually getting really frustrated right now, so give me a second. We got the chocolate chips in the stupid pan, and now we need a fourth a cup of butter. We mix this until it is smooth. I'm turning it off real quick because now we have to take the egg and we have to beat it until it is frothy and then gradually add it to the mixture. Beat this egg! Gordon Ramsay would be proud of my egg beating skills. That's frothy though. So now we gradually add it to the mixture. I'm doing it exactly like the rest. Oh, that's why. I don't want the egg to cook. Okay, I'm pretty sure I messed this up. Okay, I took it off the heat and I'm just gonna mix it like this because it's looking a little chunky. Yeah, dang it, the egg scrambled. Son of a biscuit either. Ugh. I just spilled chocolate everywhere. So chill until it is spreading consistency. All the basic ingredients are prepared and they are prepped for the decoration of the cake. This recipe is really frustrating because there's so many different little pieces that you have to do, but I guess that's how people made the cake back then. If we're gonna be decorating a cake, I need to make sure that I am ready and I am prepped to decorate the cake too. So I will be right back after these messages. So I am back and <laughs> I am here with my mom, Linda, and I am dressed as Louise when she got her makeover and she is your worst nightmare. Here's the clip real quick. Hi, Linda. I decided to decorate my face. I decided to decorate my face like Louise did because we are about to decorate this banana spook cake. This is where it's gonna get complicated again. This is our cake. Around the side before we decorate it, the side has little cat marshmallow faces. And apparently these are little marshmallows that look like cats already, but of course they don't sell those anymore, so we're gonna have to make our own. What I'm gonna have my mom do while I am decorating the cake is making the little cat faces. I am going to frost the cake. Eat. Ew, what is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I need to do first is spread about one third of the banana cream in the center of the cake. After that, spread the chocolate glaze on the top and then put the rest of the whip, or the, the banana glaze, whatever, around the sides. Disgusting. <laughs> oh my God, smell that. Yeah. It doesn't smell good at all. What's in it? Pineapple? Okay, no. I am gonna try to even this out as much as possible, putting a lot on the side so that the cake doesn't look too gross or uneven. <laughs> Linda's having too much fun making these. This looks way better than mine. Don't eat the marshmallows! Linda! This is really chunky. It's not supposed to be chunky. It's a, it, no, it's supposed to be extremely smooth. Mm. Now, what I'm going to do is take this cake, flip it over so that the flat side is on the top, and squish it down. 
Now this is where it's gonna get a little bit messy, but hopefully not. So now we're gonna put the chocolate glaze on the top. <laughs> is it working? So, funny story. Uh, there's egg in here, and I'm pretty sure I accidentally scrambled the egg. Oh yeah, you can see the, look, you can see the egg in there. It's just a little bit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that looks fabulous. So now it is time to frost the sides of the cake. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Gee. We're gonna pretend this is like a naked frosted cake. So that way that's my excuse. So it's barely frosted, okay? Mm, this is <laughs> gross. I might just leave it like this because I'm getting pissed off! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it's on my dress! Yep. <laughs> Ugh, it's annoying. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in the, the fridge for a little bit to let it all harden together. <clears throat> and I'm gonna help with the decorations. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, it stinks! I'm so over this. The next thing we need to do is make the ghosts for the top of the cake. And yes, we're making it out of bananas. Two bananas, and we're gonna peel them. Then we're gonna have the bananas so that we make four ghost bananas. Insert chocolate pieces for the eyes. <laughs> Ta-da! We got ghost eyeballs! This is fun. So now that we have the eyeballs, we need mouths. I needed thin licorice, but they didn't have any. So they had licorice chunks, and the chunks if you cut them small enough, they look like little smiley faces, or we can make them look like scary faces, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like this. This is cute. Here are the ghosts. Ta-da! <laughs> We've got our little cat marshmallows, so now we gotta put all of it together. Okay, we're gonna take toothpicks, we're gonna put them on the bottom of the bananas and stick them into the cake. What, Kristoff? Okay. That one might need fixing. All right, so now we have to do the same thing for the cats. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I love this cat. All right, guys, here it is. this cat. Ta-da! Who's ready for some slow-mo of this cake? <laughs> Do you think that we were successful in how we made it? Because that's exactly what it looks like in the picture. I feel like this is a recipe that Blinda would actually Oh yeah, make. oh yeah. This is, she'd be so proud of it. And and Louise would just be like, okay, oh, yeah. mom. <laughs> it's okay. So my mom, Linda, is going to slice a piece of this cake and we are going to try it together. So yay. <laughs> All right, so here's the inside. So, now we're gonna try this cake. Live free, dine hard, everybody, and happy Halloween. I knew it would be good. You don't like it, I knew it would be good. The chocolate's okay, the cake is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I don't like this banana whip stuff at all. It has a little sourness to it. Because of the lemon juice. Ah. There's uh, lemon. Ugh. Oh, we're not throwing this away. My mom likes it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Again, mixed reviews. The white cake, though, perfect. I figured I would do something a little bit more lighthearted because it is episode six, the last episode of the vintage series, unfortunately. I know. Very sad. Yes. You keep eating your cake. I will. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Live for Dying Hard on Beautiful Tangled Mess. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave suggestions down in the comments below of any other foods that you would like me to try. Don't forget to follow all of my social media pages. My website is officially live, so you can go visit that at www.beautifultangledmess.com to leave comments and suggestions there as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not a subscriber already and click the notification bell to get notifications of when I put out new videos. Always remember guys that life is a beautiful tangled mess and it is our job to make the most out of what we have been dealt with in life. 
and make it the best time of our lives. Thank you so much for putting up with me and my amazing designer makeup here with my mother Linda and Louise Belcher. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, you can count that.